Hi everyone, this is Janas Makula and thank you for stopping by. This video is a part of a blog hop to celebrate Hero Arts 2016 holiday products release. New goodies are now available in Hero Arts store and we're here to show you some cards and hopefully inspire you to create. Be sure to visit my blog to learn more about the blog hop and giveaway Hero Arts is having and you can find a link to my blog down below in the video description. Today I'd like to share a card featuring paper layering snowflake dies. These are very unique and allow you to create a beautiful popped up design on a card. So there are three snowflakes in a set. There's a large, a medium and a small one and they all come with a snowflake die and a frame. If you use these two together, the snowflake and the frame, you get this beautiful snowflake shaped die cut with the ends of the snowflake only partially cut and this is what it looks like from the back. And you can go ahead and lift up those ends and get a beautiful 3D snowflake on a project. Hero Arts has quite a few paper layering dies like this one, and like I mentioned, they are quite unique. I think this snowflake is just simply stunning. Here, I hope you can see all of that dimension on this die cut. So here's that medium and that small snowflake, and you can also lift up their ends just like I did on the large snowflake. Now you can also die cut these out of vellum and other things, other materials. Here I have one large snowflake die cut out of vellum and it also is very beautiful. Another way you can use these dies is without the outer frame, so just the snowflakes on their own. And you won't get a standalone snowflake, but you will uh, die cut this snowflake in a panel of cardstock and the snowflake will remain in that panel. So think about die cutting this in a background panel of a card, in a tag, or like um, in a scrapbook page and so on. Here I have all three snowflakes die cut and I'm going to quickly lift up the ends to show you the amount of dimension you can get. And I really think that these are fantastic dies and they are a must have for a holiday season. I'm always on the lookout for a great snowflake design and I really like how simple and yet unique these snowflakes are. Okay, now let's move on to the card. Here I have a panel of white cardstock that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and I'm going to die cut snowflakes in two corners of this panel. Now I want my snowflakes to go outside the edge. I want this to look like my panel was cropped out out of a larger panel. So I'm going to position my snowflakes making sure they go outside the edge just a little bit and we'll tape all of them down with washi tape. I'm going to go ahead and die cut this in my die cutting machine. I'm using platinum from Spellbinders, but this works in any die cutting machine out there. So I'm going to pop the dies out and here I have one corner nice and die cut. I'm going to reposition these on the other corner and we'll go ahead and die cut again. The great part about using washi tape is that I have my dies connected and I will have an identical design die cut on the other corner of my panel. Now there are a few pieces of cardstock that fell out. I die cut a little bit too much there, but it doesn't bother me. I think this will still look awesome. In order to make my card pop, I went to layer silver glitter paper under my main die cut panel and will also use a light gray cardstock for the card base. Now to create a sentiment for this card, I'm going to heat emboss several frames from the holiday messages and tags stamp set and also a sentiment from the Christmas messages set and I'm going with wishing you a sparkling holiday sentiment. In order to make sure my sentiment will fit onto the frame, since I'm using a sentiment from a different stamp set, I'm going to double check it. So here I have a frame heat embossed onto vellum and it was heat embossed from a previous card I made and this is a leftover frame. And I'm just placing the vellum frame over the sentiment and checking if this will fit. There are many great sentiments in the holiday messages and tags stamp set, but I wanted to use a different sentiment for this card. So I didn't like the way the first one fit the frame. I tested out a few additional ones and finally settled on that wishing you a sparkling holiday sentiment. I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool and prep the paper for heat embossing. I will ink up my stamps with Versamark ink. This is a sticky clear ink. I will stamp the frames and cover with platinum embossing powder from Hero Arts. I'm also going to stamp the sentiment inside the frame and we'll add the same platinum embossing powder and we'll heat set the powder to melt. Now I'm first preheating my heat tool to get it good and hot and then bringing it onto the paper to heat emboss the images. Now I felt like my sentiment was crooked inside the frame. 
so I re-stamped it, but this time I stamped the cinnamon first and then added a frame around it, and that seemed to have helped. Now, there are matching dies available for these frames, but I didn't have them, so I used my scissors and cut these out by hand. If you've never done this in the past, the trick is very simple. You want to make sure to move the paper and not move your scissors when cutting to have a smooth cut. So next I trimmed my die cut cardstock panel to about 4 inches wide and I also trimmed my glitter cardstock to the same size. I'm now using strong double sided adhesive and going to go ahead and adhere my die cut panel over the glitter panel. Now the glitter paper that I'm using is from Tim Holtz and it doesn't shed glitter at all. And you want to make sure to use good quality glitter paper and very strong adhesive otherwise it will be very difficult to adhere the die cut panel over glitter paper. I'm also going to foam mount this onto a light gray card base and I used foam adhesive here so that I could have a little bit of dimension on this project. I'm going to use foam adhesive to adhere my heat embossed frame. I really like using foam adhesive instead of regular adhesive to add additional interest to my projects. So I'm first adhering the sentiment frame over the larger frame and will then go ahead and foam mount that onto the card. Now I wanted to tuck the frame under the snowflake ends, but I cut my snowflakes a little bit too close together, so I wasn't able to do that here. But I did do that on a card I created for Hero Arts Holiday Catalog. It's a very similar card design and you can see a close up here. Now I used vellum instead of cardstock for the bottom frame on that card. But you can see how the snowflake overlaps that uh, frame really nicely. Now the beauty of these dies is that pop-up or 3D effect. So I'm going to use my tweezers and will carefully lift up the ends of the snowflake on my card to get that dimensional look. Now a card like this you probably will want to hand deliver. You can mail it but it will most definitely arrive flat unless it is mailed in a box. So keep that in mind when using these dies. Finally, to decorate this card, I'm going to use some sequins and clear drops and I'm adhering gold sequin inside the center of each snowflake and then adding a small clear droplet from Pretty Pink Posh. I'm using Koiku glue pen and also a crystal katana tool to pick up and adhere all of these little bits down and to be honest, I feel like a surgeon down here using these tools. Now I'm also going to adhere a few sparkling clear beads to finish this card. So here's a closer look at this card created with Hero Arts paper layering snowflake dies and other goodies from holiday 2016 release. The bits of blue you're seeing under the clear drops right now is glue. It dries clear, but since it was still wet there, uh, it, was, it was showing blue on this card. Be sure to head over to my blog to join the blog hop and find even more inspiration and participate in Hero Arts giveaway. If you're interested in the products I used, I have them linked down below in my YouTube description. Here are a few additional videos on my channel featuring holiday cards. The first one is actually my all-time favorite. It features ombre background stamping and faux ink blended look. The second one features a modern holiday card with die Christmas ornaments. And the third one is all about ombre heat embossing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!